The Kiso Antaki area is actually a very fascinating area because of the variety that it offers. It offers absolutely everything for travelers, from amazing um, landscapes to warm locals, absolutely fascinating scenery and um, delicious food, and it really is a destination that has it all. We spent uh, three days on our tour here and we went first of all to a cultural centre where we did all sorts of activities ranging from making soba noodles, uh, we also learned how to make chopsticks. Then later on in the day we went to a typical artisan's workshop where he was making traditional uh, wooden Japanese bowls, which was truly fascinating. Japanese culture in general, or in particular the one you find in the Kiso Ontaki area, is pretty amazing um, and what, what really impressed me um, especially is that Everything and everyone has a story to tell here, from the local artisans to the landscapes even, dating back to the Edo era. It's a place full of histories and stories and um, that is reflected in every single aspect of this region. And then on another day we went on the Nakasendo Trail, walking between two post towns. The first part is very quaint, very uh, typically Japanese, uh, beautiful wooden houses. And as you ascend the trail you become into more woodland area, which is quite breathtaking. And the views, you've got waterfalls, you've got beautiful scenery and a little bit of wildlife if you like. It has been extremely interesting. Uh, first of all because this is an historical trail, uh, so you get to be in the nature but you're also walking over history, let's say. So that's the one, the part that I like the most. Uh. I think what's very unique about, about the area for travelers is that they get a completely different um, experience here to um, the experience they get in other areas of Japan. There's definite opportunities here, maybe not for the first time traveler to Japan, but certainly people coming back for a second time. I think uh, you know it's a little bit different somewhere they wouldn't have seen the first time around and uh, they'll get to see a different side of Japan I think. In Tokyo you get the hustle and bustle, which also has its charm obviously, but here you get the, the real, the, the more unseen and untouched Japan. So if you want to kind of go for the deeper experiences, then this is the place to be.